Hi, this is AJ from WPixelboard.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add image letters using the Total WordPress theme. So I'm just going to go into my dashboard and let's go ahead and create a new page. So I'm going to call this page um, Image Slider. All right. Now let's just for this um, demo, let's change the main content layout to no sidebar, and let's publish this page. All right now, once the page is published, let's go ahead and go to the front end editor, and I'll show you how to add an image slider using the total image slider module. So if you click here to add an element, then just go ahead and start searching image slider, and you'll see this module right here, image slider, and that's a custom module for the Visual Composer that's only found in the total WordPress thing. So go ahead and click that. And in order to add the images to the slider, so you can see after I've added it, you won't really see any slider because you haven't added your images, but you'll see all the settings here. So go ahead and click this box right here to add your images. And you can just select the images you want to include. Uh, so let's include, let's see. Let's add this one, this one, and this one. And then click add images right down here. As you can see, once you've added them, they'll show up like this. And you can go ahead and you can drag and drop these to reorder them, or you can click the X to remove any you accidentally added. And then click the save changes. Now you can see this slider on the live site. Um, the next step is to customize your slider. You just want to go through the different tabs. Under the general tab, you'll find tons of settings to change the slider. So you can change enable lazy load, randomize your slider, change the animation, enable loop, you can change the height animation speed, uh, the height, they had the default animation speed, so between slides, enable or disable autoplay, um, enable or disable arrows, dot navigation, the thumbnails down here, etc. Um, under the image tab, so by default, the sliders will display your images at uh, full size, but you can choose any image defined in WordPress or choose custom size. If you choose custom size, you'll see options for your cropping location as well as your sizes. So let's, for example, make this image letter 900 pixels by 400. And you don't actually have to add the pixel value. You can or you can decide not to. It doesn't really matter. When you save that, your slider will refresh and all the images will be automatically cropped. You do not need to use any regeneration plugin or anything like that. The total theme will just crop them automatically for you. Under caption, you can enable captions for your slider and these are based on your image. So if you enable it, now you'll see a bunch of settings. And right here where it says based on, you can choose what the captions can be based on. And I don't have any captions for my images on this demo. So let's go ahead and click title just so you can see how it works. All right, now you can see down here, uh, it shows the titles for the different images. And what's really cool about the caption on the total image slider is that it's fully customizable. So you can change, choose between black or white style, rounded, and you can also change the position. So let's actually put our caption on the top left. And as you see right now, it like goes up and down as you go through your slides. So the show transition is the default transition when you get to the slide and high transition is when you go to the next slide. So instead of up, let's do it right. So when it comes in, it'll go to the right. And then let's make it go to the left when it goes out. Now the width by default, captions are 100%. So the 100% of the width of your slider. If we do auto, for example, then the width will be just based on the text size. Then let's make it a little bigger font size. Let's um, tweak the padding a bit. And the horizontal offset, that's going to be the position horizontally. So let's add 60 pixel offset, or sorry, yeah, that's going to be the horizontal offset. So from the left to the right, and then vertical offset, that's from the top to the bottom. So again, let's add 60 pixels. Let's change this to 40 and let's save. So now you can see our captions are going to come in from the left, going to the right, and they're going to go out to the, to the left. Um, so you can mess around with those settings. There's uh, various transitions you can choose from. And of course, like I said, you can change what the, it's based on. So for example, you can choose caption if you want to display your image captions, etc. Under the link tab, by default, your slides don't go anywhere. 
but you can choose either Lightbox or custom links. Lightbox means um, when you click on the image, it'll display a, a big version of the image. So the full image size. And custom links, that allows you to link your slides to any link you want on your site or other sites. The last tab, CSS. This is just to add some styling to the slider overall. So for example, you can add some padding and a background, let's say. And so that goes all around your whole slider. Uh, that's pretty much all the settings for the image slider. You don't really need much more. And as you can see, it's very easy to add a slider anywhere on your site um, with the total theme. But there is another way you can add slides. So let's go ahead and go back to the backend editor. And the total WordPress theme comes bundled with the Slider Revolution plugin, which is a really advanced uh, layer style slider. That one takes a little more time uh, learning how to use, but you can also create really simple slides from it. And to do that, you'll just go here, Slider Revolution. That of course is assuming you've already installed and activated the plugin. Then just click on New Slider. I'm just gonna leave the settings default, but as you can see, there's lots of settings. It is important though that you give your slider name in an alias and that's um, how you're going to show it on the site. So let's just do demo slider, demo slider, and let's save it. All right, now after you save, it's going to take you to your first slide and I'm all I'm going to do is add background images. I'm just going to keep it really simple. Let's give it this image right here and let's click save. So now, if you go to all sliders and you click on your slider again, I'm oh, sorry, go to the slider settings instead. This right here is going to be the short code to display your slider anywhere on your site. And if you go to any page in the total WordPress theme, you can either insert that short code. Mm, let's go back to our image sliders page. You can either insert your slider using the Visual Composer, either the back end or the front end editor. All you gotta do is use the slider revolution module and you can choose it like this and add it to the page. But in total, you can also use the page settings. And that's gonna be down here where it says slider. And so you can insert your short code right into this field. And let's just do it and click update. So when you do that, by default, it's going to display your slider. Um, um, it's going to display the slider right under the title. So like right here. And you see there's a little space here. So you can actually remove that space going to title and you can uh, disable your title margin here or you can disable the title completely, which is what most people do when they insert a slider. But as you can see, you can also change the slider position to be below the title, above the title, above the menu, above the header, or even above the top bar. So, so these slider settings give you a little more freedom because the Visual Composer pretty much is just adding it to the page, which is always going to be under your header. But if you use these settings, you can place the short code anywhere pretty much at the top of your site. There's also some alternative options for showing the slider on mobile, we're showing a mobile alternative for your slider, as well as um, adding some links to the alternative uh, slider if you want. So that's pretty much how you add sliders in the total WordPress theme. As you can see, it's very simple to do. Of course, if you, if you do have any questions, just let us know on ThemeForce or open a ticket and we'll help you out.